Hello, my beautiful people. I started to do my hair and then I thought, why aren't I going live to do this? So here we are. I'm gonna do a hair live. This is going to be like effortless curls, especially if you have short hair. I'm going to try two different curl patterns with the same curling iron. <laughs> so all you will need is a cheap Walmart Conair one inch curling iron. You will need a clip of some kind. I love these alligator clips because they seem to really keep my hair in well, but any clip will do. A brush. This one is from Rock and Ruddle. I'm obsessed with their brushes. I do have a code linked in my bio if you're looking for a new hairbrush. These are amazing in the shower or just drying, styling, flat wrapping, things like that. I love it because it has holes in it, so it allows the air to pass through and it's really gentle too. I actually even use this when I tone my hair. When I throw some toner in my hair, I will brush the toner through with this brush. It does a lot of things. <laughs> and then um, my most favorite styling product right now is from Aquage. This is called Spray Wax. So that's all you will need. And honestly, what you really, really need for this tutorial is just the curling iron at the end of the day. So if you've got a cheapo curling iron like this, I currently don't really use expensive curling irons. Um, this Conair, as you can see, <laughs> has done me well. I think it was $12 when I originally bought it and I've had it forever. I think since like before I had children. So it's lasted a long time. Um, okay, hi guys, happy Saturday. Come say hi to me in the comments. Tell me what you're doing today. Tell me all the things. My kiddos are out riding bikes. We're just soaking in kind of the last bit of summer here. I think summer is officially over and it's officially fall, I think, according to our calendars. I don't know, <laughs> but here in Colorado, it definitely feels like fall. It's one of those times right now where you love your sweatshirt in the morning and immediately regret it in the afternoon because it's ripping hot and you're sweaty. <laughs> so, okay, let's, let's get to it, okay? First things first, since my hair is so short, you guys can see I've got, um, I have an undercut hair. I love my undercut. If you're not familiar with an undercut, um, basically this bottom layer of my hair is a lot uh, shorter than the rest of my hair. The reason being, I have really thick hair. Um, and so in order for it to lay right back here, which you can kind of see, it's starting to curl out, which tells me it's time for a haircut. Um, but it better helps it all lay better back here. So if you have thick hair, I would seriously consider an undercut for the next haircut you get if you're going like this length of hair because it really helps debulk um, a lot of that excess weight that we can tend to get back here. Um, so I typically don't worry when I'm curling my hair. I don't even worry about curling this because it's so short you won't even see it, but all this that sits over it, you'll want to curl. So we're going for effortless here, which means it doesn't need to be perfect. Um, so I first always start my hair curls out where it's away from my face. I curl away from my face. Always, always that first section. I don't, I don't love when curls hit my face. I feel like my hair's like caving in on my face. I don't personally love that. So that's why I always do that one away. Sometimes I will alternate curls. And in this case, I am going to because I'm doing a different type of curl pattern. So for this next one here, we're gonna start at the top and walk it down, but then, this gets hard when you're at the bottom, you kind of twist around the curling iron. Did you see that? So it creates more of a tighter curl compared to this one. So we're gonna alternate that and see what it gives us. I have not done this in a very long time, and I haven't done it yet with this haircut specifically, so I'm excited to see what that looks like. For this bottom section though, since this hair is so short, that's the only section I'm gonna do that curl pattern on because the rest of it is too short back here. So we're just gonna curl that as normal and whatever we can grab. You can see there's a lot left down here that I didn't grab because it's just too short. So, okay. 
This one, where am I at in my pattern here? Okay. This one's gonna go away from my face. And this one is just your average everyday like prom curl that you would do. This one is going to go towards my face and that's when we're gonna do the kind of icicle curl pattern. So I take it, pull it, go around, pull it again, come around. You just kind of keep twisting the hair strand. You'll be able to see it better once I get to the top in my where my hair is a little bit longer. And then this front one, same as usual. Just your normal everyday curl. That one turned out a lot better than this one. So I'm gonna do this one over again. Okay. Then I used to be one where I like had to clip all this back and keep my sections nice and neat. But since I have short hair, that's really hard to do. So I do just let my hair down um, and kind of find which ones are still straight so that I can kind of tell where I'm at with my next pattern here. Also, hopefully you guys can see me. I have a ring light and I think I might have set it too low. <laughs> I don't know. Um, okay, here's the next one. We are going to now do the icicle curl on this section because we're trying to alternate them. So see how I kind of take it out? Oh, see, we lost it. Start over, kind of take it out, twist it, go down, twist it again. So you're popping like the end of the curling iron out till you get this really cute little twisty. And then this next one, we're gonna do just a regular curl. Like so. And notice how I'm not touching the curls either. You really want to let them cool down before you touch them. Okay, here's the twist. So you kind of pull out that end of the curling iron and, and you're twisting the hair at the same time. So see how it's creating a twist up here? You're like, I swear if this girl says twist one more time. <laughs> okay, so can you guys see the difference in these curls here? But we're gonna leave them, we're not gonna touch them. And then I'll show you how it looks at the very end. And like I said, I haven't done this with this haircut yet, so we will see how this turns out. Regular curl here. And then we're gonna shift gears and go to this side and do the same thing over here. Starting out with the twisty one. Twist, twist, twist. Okay, there's a teeny tiny little twist. And then this is gonna be a regular curl. You guys are so quiet in the comments. How are you guys? What, we, what plans do you have for the weekend? Okay, here's another twist. We are watching that documentary on David Beckham. I've seen it. I watched it when Nate was at the firehouse. I binged it when he was on a 48, but he had never seen it. And so we're watching, I'm watching it for the second time. He's watching it for the first time. Him and I both played soccer in high school. We both played competitive soccer. Um, and we were both left midfielders, which is really cool. Um, Cause we both have we kick with our left foot even though we're right-handed um and it's crazy you guys crazy what he went through like with soccer like in america is nothing compared to soccer in other countries like soccer is a big stinking deal in these countries like where manchester united is and the real madrid i'm like holy cow i think soccer over there which is football is bigger than actual football here <laughs> in the in america it's crazy and like the amount of hate that he got for like getting kicked out of the game is insane i'm like geez people like tone it 
it's okay it's just a game but it's it's not just a game over there it's a really big freaking deal it's crazy like I used to go, so we're here in Colorado, so we would go to Rapids games, the Colorado Rapids. Nothing compared to soccer over in other countries. What documentaries do you guys like? Do you, are you into documentaries? I love documentaries. I think they're so fascinating to find out things about people, especially if they're true. If they're not, not as cool. Okay, I found a straight piece of hair. Where'd it go? There it is. Okay. I missed your comment. I go short, but I have thin hair that always sticks to my head. But I don't think I could ever get it to look as good as yours. Oh, that's not true. I bet you could. I really bet you could. The thing with finer hair is um, you just don't want to get layers added to your hair. You want to keep it one length as much as possible. Um, cause the more layers you add to your hair, the, the finer it will feel. But if you, if you maintain like one length, it'll actually probably feel thicker to you by having one length. Um, I'm going to try and do this twist part behind my head. See if I can get it going. And you'll definitely not want to do an undercut like what I have. Um, cause that'll, that'll make you feel like it's still thin too. Um, but I actually love short hair on, on like my friends who have finer hair. I think it looks so cute and product. It all comes down to product and having products that are going to add body to your hair, add volume, things like that. Okay. I'm going to do the twist part. And you can see it doesn't have to be perfect, but maintaining the pattern as best as you can and I still have not touched those curls yet because I'm wanting them to cool down before I touch them hello it could be your hair's long and boring you should you should chop it I am a huge fan of short hair I just think it makes me feel like I have a hairstyle I mean don't get me wrong I definitely miss having long hair every now and then It'd be nice to throw it up in a bun or something like that. Um, but short hair really makes me feel like I have a hairstyle to obtain, you know? Okay, here we go. This is going to be kind of the top layer. So I'm using just a regular curl on that first section again, even though technically I probably should have alternated. But I'm still going to do that twisting method on alternating curls here so we'll do one more like regular curl where I'm starting at the top and I kind of work the curling iron down and then we're gonna do the twist method here so you're basically just popping the curling iron out and twisting at the same time like so uh oh Hey, I'm live. What are you doing? He's already had some lemonade. It's okay. You can have some lemonade, but please don't spill it, okay? Thank you. Okay. All right. We'll do the we'll do the twist method on this one too. So you're kind of walking it down, and then I'll slide it. Let the tip of that out. Slide it. Twist it around. You guys see that? And then I'm just doing a regular curl this way. Let it out. And then we'll do the twist again. I have found when I keep the section of my hair towards the end of the curling iron, when it gets too far away from the end of the curling iron, that's when you start to kind of lose the twist I've noticed. So the closer you can keep your hair section to the end of your curling iron, the better that will be. Okay, this one we're just gonna do regular curl, but since this is kind of my bangs, I more or less just slide that part out so that it's a little bit smoother 
around my face. Okay, then we sit here and we let it dry and do its thing and look like this for a second while we let those pieces dry. Oh, thank you. Thank you, thank you. Hi guys. Hi, hi, hi. Okay. Did I, I think I might have missed a section back here. I can't tell. Let's recurl it just in case. Looks like I potentially missed that. Okay, this feels about cooled down. So here's what you do. You're gonna run your fingers through it, pray that it looks okay. <laughs> like loosen up all those curls, like so. Ooh, these are fun. Look how pretty. Okay, I have not done that with this haircut yet. I wasn't sure how this was gonna look, but that is fun. It just gives like different types of texture and that is super fun. Okay, I am going to do, do I wanna do a side part? Let's see, which side do I want? Okay, I think it might be, it's sitting better going this way. So we're going to have it sit that way <laughs> that looks a little bit better here's where this product comes into hand um this is a it's a spray wax volume and definition don't let the word wax deter you though because it doesn't feel waxy i actually don't really feel it in my hair at all it's pretty awesome um and it just gives my hair some really fun texture so for something like this you want that added kind of like PC look to your hair. This will be the one for you. I have this linked in my Shop My, if you're not sure where to find Aquash products. Um, I think Ulta sells them. I think even Sephora might even sell them. But see how it just kind of gives like that PC or look to your hair? I love this stuff and it almost kind of acts like a, um, Hairspray. I'm like, what am I trying to say? Hairspray. So that makes it really fun too. Um, but I typically will curl my hair based off of like a middle part. This is kind of my, I have a calic right here. So that's kind of like my natural part, I guess. So I'll typically curl my hair based off of that so that I can wear it like whatever way I want to. <laughs> you guys are so sweet. Thank you. <laughs> that's just, it's just kind of a fun, different way to curl your hair, right? Give it some texture, different different pieces to it. So y'all are amazing. Thanks for being on here live. Um, in my stories, I was crying my eyes out earlier. So if you want to see that happening, feel free to head. Oh, we got even more volume when we switched it. <laughs> uh, but feel free to head over there uh, while I do my skincare and get ready for the day. Um, I also show like what products I use as a base because it was today was like a shower day or a wash day I should say I shower every day. I just don't always wash my hair every day I'll put on like a shower cap on days that I don't want to wash my hair, but I need the shower still um, But today was wash day. So I was showing like what I only use two products um, while my hair was still wet to achieve this with volume I'm huge on like volume root boosters things like that to give your hair more volume without having to necessarily tease them um so yes be sure to check out my stories over there but thank you guys for being on here i hope you have a wonderful saturday and we'll see you later bye